hi everyone in uh, today's video i am going to take up a new cargo work numerical uh, this is going to be example six so without wasting much time let's get to it uh, in this question there is a ship uh, with a hold which has a bale capacity of 580 metric cube and a grain capacity of 636 metric cube so as you know bale capacity refers to the bagged cargo that can be carried and grain capacity will refer to the maximum capacity so bale capacity includes the stringers and platings in calculating the volume and grain capacity includes the it excludes uh, the stringers and the plating it ex it includes the maximum volumetric capacity of a cargo hold that's why it is used to assess how much loose grain can be loaded in the cargo hold and bale capacity is used for bagged cargo dunnage boxes something like that so this cargo hold is filled currently with maize stowing at 1.37 metric cube per ton that is the storage factor of the maize cargo so when it says maize we assume it is a loose grain because it doesn't say whether it is bagged so we assume it has to be a loose grain right it is not in bags it is now intended to discharge 125 tons of maize so this word is sorry is maize so 125 tons of maize and load bagged maize in the same hold so you have to now discharge 125 tons of loose grains of maize and instead of that load bagged maize maize in bags the dimensions of the bags are 0 0.5 by 0 0.4 by 0 0.3 meters and each bag weighs 50 kilograms all right this is the dimensions of the bag the space lost between the bags is 11 percent so what is 11 percent 11 percent is what we say is the broken storage that means when two bags are loaded next to one another some space is lost between those bags it is not the case with grains grains pretty much occupy the entire volume of the cargo hold but when you are loading bags of cargo between bags of course you lose space 11 percent of the space is lost that is the broken storage so the question asks you how many tons of bagged maize can you load assuming that the ratio of the bale capacity to grain capacity is the same throughout the depth of the hold that means I am assuming that throughout the depth the bale capacity which is 5 atri metric cube and the grain capacity is 636 metric cube so the ratio here is 580 to 636 that is the ratio that is maintained throughout the cargo hold so it is not that the cargo hold is in a odd shape so what the what the question means to say is that if there is a cargo hold and the ratio of the cargo hold let's say there is some plate some platings here so you have to understand the meaning of the question so let's say there is some platings here so is some plating here and there is some plating here all right so what is the bale capacity bale capacity is this space here this is bale capacity it it kind of takes into account the platings the strengthening members the stiffeners and but what is grain capacity grain capacity is the total volume of the cargo hold the total it excludes all that so this is the grain capacity now what the question means to tell you is that the this ratio is the same throughout the cargo hold it is not that the cargo hold is in this kind of a odd shape something like this you know it's not a odd shape where the capacity the ratio of the capacity changes no it is not like that the ratio remains the same that is what the question is explaining so how do you go about solving the question so let's say the total ton of maize loaded so when i say how many how much maize has been loaded so we are talking about loose grain of cargo right so how can you calculate this by putting the volume which is the grain capacity right grain capacity divided by the storage factor of the cargo so what is the grain capacity 635 
divided by what is the storage factor 1.37 remember this is the if you go back to the question 636 not 635 636 metric cube is the grain capacity and storage factor of the loose grain is 1.37 all right so you want 635 636 so i have to bring out my calculator as well to make sure i am doing the correct thing yeah. so i will put here 636 so if I, if you divide 636 divided by 1.37 that gives you the total grain cargo in weight how much you have loaded 464.2 tons you can load this all right so often people get confused with what is how can we use storage factor now remember this formula you know this formula right density equals so i will just explain what is how do you remember storage factor storage factor is actually opposite of uh, density so we often say uh, mass equals mass which is in turn equals volume multiplied by density right density is actually the opposite of storage factor so density is one by storage factor you can ex understand that relationship so here what would you have you would have volume by density equals mass but if i make density if i understand density as one upon storage factor then how will you calculate mass then mass will be equal to volume by one upon storage factor right which is nothing but volume by storage factor right although you feel that i am going a bit off track i am not going off track i am just trying to explain how the storage factor is used in calculating the mass of the cargo loaded all right so that is why when i'm trying to load calculate the total ton of maize loaded i'm using grain capacity which is the volume volume here the maximum volume for loose grain of cargo divided by storage factor which is 1.37 which is op 1 by density you can say that it is a 1 by density 1 by density or something like that all right so how much you have to discharge so maize or discharging you have to discharge maize how much do you have to discharge it you have to discharge 125 tons of maize so you can see here the question says 125 tons of maize has to be discharged right so how much will you discharge so balance cargo remaining all right balance maize so you have 464.2 minus 125 tons how much is that so 464.2 minus 125 is 339.2 339.2 tons of cargo you have remaining all right that is the loose maze is remaining right so how much volume is this maze occupying so volume occupied by this remaining maze by the balance maze so you will use the same formula that i have used before so you can see here if i am calculating total mass by dividing grain capacity by storage factor how will i calculate the volume by doing the opposite so i will multiply so you can see volume volume by storage factor equals mass so storage factor multiplied by the mass will give you the volumetric capacity so volume occupied by the balance the remaining maze of the cargo will be mass remaining which is 339.2 tons multiplied by storage factor which is 1.37 so 339.2 multiplied 1.37 gives you 464.7 464.7 metric cube remember the units what are you calculating and what are the units all right so therefore how much is the balance grain volume remember so balance grain volume which is the grain capacity balance means remaining so i'm just putting the word here remaining all right is 636 minus 464.7 so 636 is the grain capacity now 636 minus 464.7 171.3 all right so that is the remaining 171.3 metric cube is the remaining grain capacity for loading the bagged maize all right now let's say what is the weight of the bag 
now we have to find out how many bags we can load so do that we have to find out what is each bag weighing or what is the volume that is actually being occupied by the bag so weight of each bag weight of each bag is equal to 50 kilograms now i will explain later on in form of diagram as well so maybe you will be able to visualize it better now because all the weights we are talking about is in tons right we are talking about each weight in tons i'm going to change the color of the pen so we have to make sure that this weight is also in tons so if 50 kilograms how can we convert into tons by dividing it in by thousand so thousand kilograms is one ton so if i have to divide or if i have to convert 50 kilograms to tons we have to divide it by thousand which makes it 0 0.05 tons because we have to keep the units same so the units will be tons when it comes to weight and metric cube or metric or meters when it comes to any kind of length or volume we are measuring right now volume of each bag you have been given the dimensions already 0 0.5 by 0 0.4 by 0 0.3 and remember this is in meters each one of them is meter so you are happy with it because it's in meters the rest is meters as well so it is 0 0.06 metric cube remember volume is always metric cube when we're talking about length by breadth by depth all right now using the same formula before what is how will you calculate storage factor storage factor will be calculated by volume by mass right volume by mass just like mass by storage factor gave you volume and volume by storage factor gave you mass volume by mass will give you storage factor so volume is 0 0.06 now what is the storage factor of it is of bagged maize remember the previous storage factor was for loose grain of maize this is for bagged maize so 0 0.06 by 0 0.05 will give you 1.2 metric ton metric cube per ton because it's storage factor so metric cube comes from volume and ton comes from mass simple all right but when you are loading bags of cargo you are also lo losing space so remember when you are losing when you are putting bags of cargo even if you put next to one another you can see this space is being lost space is lost because of the shape of the cargo because of the volume of the cargo so even if you are putting next to one another there's still some space will be lost here that is called broken storage so you have to take that also into account before you can determine how many bags you can load so broken storage equals 11 percent of 1.2 11 percent of storage factor all right so what is the new storage factor remember storage factor is not only 1.2 as you have calculated but also you have to take into account broken storage so 11 percent of broken storage 11 percent of sorry 11 percent of storage factor 11 percent of 1.2 you have to add that as well so storage factor plus 11 percent of storage factor will give you the no new storage factor right so what is the 1.2 plus what is 11 percent of storage factor 11 percent 11 multiplied by 1.2 divided by 100 right so what do you get 0 0.132 then total storage factor or new storage factor let's call it new storage factor is equal to 1.332 metric cube per ton all right so not only you calculated storage factor from here but also you included the broken storage so now that you have got the new storage factor of the bagged maze you can find out how much cargo you can load but remember bagged cargo you have to consider the bale capacity not the grain capacity because bagged cargo remember the first diagram i showed you all right so bagged cargo cannot be just put anywhere it has to be put in this bale capacity only grain can go into anywhere because it's loose grain of cargo so you consider grain capacity but bags of cargo have to be put in proper places right this not proper place i mean you have to include the stiffeners and you know you will lose spaces because of the stiffeners the platings the shell platings but grain loose grain can go anywhere it can go in these spaces as well so that's why we consider grain capacity for loose grain so how do you find out how much cargo you can load keeping the ratio same so you keep the ratio same you put the grain capacity upon bale capacity so that is the ratio you want to keep the same and you have uh, how much is you have to balance so balance grain volume remaining is 171.3 so you have 171.3 and 
how much you can load has to be the same so it is x we don't know right so this is the balance grain capacity after you have already discharged the loose maze and you have some remaining maze and this is the balance bale capacity remaining for you to load the bagged cargo so you want to keep the ratio same you don't want to change the ratio so this is how you will keep it so you cross multiply it so first you put the grain capacity which is 636 by 580 and this is 171.3 divided by x so do a cross multiplication right so what do you get 636x equals 171.3 multiplied by 580 which is equal to 99354 so x is equal to 99354 divided by 636 which is equal to 156.22 metric cube of volume so you have you have this much volume available as per bale capacity to load the bags so this is volume available to load bagged cargo not loose but bagged cargo remember bagged maze all right then bags to load so how many weight first is weight of bags that can be loaded all right weight of bags that can be loaded is equal to nothing but remaining bale capacity which is 156.22 divided by storage factor the new storage factor remember that right this is the relationship you have been using before as well so we have 170 or not 170 156.22 156.22 divided by 1.332 so divided by 1.332 gives us 117.2 tons of cargo that can be loaded in bagged form all right we are talking about bagged maze here so what are the number of bags you can load how many bags you can load in number so this is the weight of the bags if you can load 117.2 tons and each bag weighs 0 0.05 tons remember both are have to be in tons you cannot use one in kgs and one in tons right so divided by 0 0.05 so how many bags do you get 200,345.6 so about 2346 bags that you can load all right so this is how you solve the question so this cargo hold had loose grain so let's understand it in a diagram as well all right all right and then there could be some platings all right so let's show the plating in some kind of a different format just to show the difference between grain and bale capacity right and then you had you know uh, grain loaded here so you have lots of grain you had grain going into the grain capacity as well so this is all the loose grain of cargo you had loaded all right all right then you had to discharge a portion of this cargo 125 tons you discharged it this is loose grain of cargo and in place of that you had to put in bagged maize all right bagged maize let's say these are bags of maize so how many cargo how many bags and what is the weight of these bags you can load is what you calculated all right so you can see i'm loading the bags only in the bale capacity i'm not loading it in the grain capacity i'm loading it only in the bale capacity but you have to keep the ratio same that was the key part here key question here all right and that is why we kept the ratio same here from bale to grain capacity so guys let me know what you thought about this video whether you found it easy or tough or something that i should have explained better i look forward to your comments and feedback i will put up more cargo work problems in the next few weeks uh, because uh, that is what has been bothering some students and they have been asking me for some time to take up different examples so see you soon with my next video bye for now